Hey, hey YC! This is Villa. And this is Jerome. And welcome to the fourth episode of YC TV. Alright, so far we've been going so well here in Brunei. We've been talking about mm -hmm. a lot of things, right? Yeah. Just like on the networks, the economy, and the environment. And this mm -hmm. workshop has also provided a lot of platforms of learning for our delegates like uh, formal talks inside the session hall and even hands-on activities straight from an echo village. Indeed, there has been so many things that have happened since day one, but what we need to talk about, we need to highlight about, is actually the output of this workshop. So today, the delegates were actually grouped and they will be creating their own project which will be presented in the Green Idea Pitch. And also for this fourth episode of YCL TV, we will be focusing on one of the core topics of this workshop and that is empowerment. empowerment. But wait, there's more. We'll also be talking about one of the huge things that's been happening here in the ASEAN mm -hmm. and that is the 40th anniversary of the US-ASEAN partnership. Let's roll! After learning important things about the environment, economy, empowerment, and networks, now the delegates are more than equipped to plan for their group projects that will serve as one of the outputs of this workshop. Project management is one tool needed to ensure that the projects will be effective and sustainable. So, looking at empowerment, you know, once you in projects, right, there's a lot of tasks and responsibility, and you have a lot of people involved in there. So giving a task to a person, you give them empowerment and then you give them a sort of responsibility. With that sort of responsibility, it comes with accountability. So they've been given this, all right, you're given this task and you hold, you take in your, it's your duty to, to make sure that task is completed. And if anything just goes wrong, it will go to you. So you hold accountability to your task. Challenging the delegates to create their own projects for the environment is one concrete way of empowering the youth of Southeast Asia. The impact of their projects can change the lives of the people in various communities across the region. Empowerment is not only involve the local community as uh, our employee, but also uh, involve them to get active as a decision maker and lead also. In my business, uh, I do ecotourism, so I feel more uh, powerful to bring the spirit and inspire the, my team. Empowerment is all about paying respect. So like uh, for me, I'm working with community in Thailand. In my work, we all have an equal say on what we are going to do together. No one is leading each other, uh, one another. We all go together on equal terms, so for me that's empowerment. Still on empowerment, the relationship of the United States and the ASEAN has been strong for the past 40 years. It engaged as a platform to provide opportunities of development for all countries involved, including the youth sector. We're really honored to have this opportunity and how fortunate we all are to be together in this 40th year. We've had four decades of cooperation, four decades of engagement, four decades of friendship. And so we're grateful to ASEAN for this continued partnership and we look forward to the next 100 years together. Uh, what YCLI has done is take a network of engagements of exchange programs between ASEAN nations and the United States and weave them together into a cohesive platform where people from ASEAN nations to get to know us in the United States and they can get to work with and know each other. Now as a way to end YCD TV for our workshop here in Brunei, we've been talking about empowering the youth and how they could pay change once they go back to their countries. So it is also important to note, Joe, yeah. that the United States and ASEAN has been working together for decades, which has really empowered all of us here in the ASEAN region. That's right, that's why we'd like to greet happy 40th anniversary for the US-ASEAN partnership and of course, happy 50th anniversary for the ASEAN. Indeed, so everyone, do not forget to actually
check us out check Wysili out on their social media sites you can check out here so thank you so much for watching I'm Bila Hassan and of course please do not forget to tune in to the Wysili YouTube channel if you want to watch all Wysili TV episodes once again this has been Zulski Yang thank you for watching the fourth episode of Wysili TV for Wysili Ten Green Woo!